Ah, uh, yes, a welterweight title fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and George Rush St. Pierre. Well, DC, like Frank Sinatra, this man has done it his way. The former UFC welterweight and middleweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre. A lot of people believe pound for pound, DC, GSP is the best they've ever seen. Yes, because he was able to mix everything together so well. When he was fighting a wrestler, he was able to keep the fight standing. When he was fighting a striking specialist, he was able to take him to the ground. His jiu-jitsu and just his full-on MMA game was something that we had never seen in the UFC before. Won the UFC championship at middleweight after being away for four years. Just showed how special George St. Pierre truly is. In terms of MMA application of wrestling, no one has done it better than George Rush St. Pierre. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. The Russian is 31. The Canadian is 39. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, presenting the challenger, George Rush St. B. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line, come back yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Stuff the t- 
takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by George St. Pierre. Changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from McClendon. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, high amplitude slam for him there. Wow. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and train down big strikes in your opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And he landed the right hand there. Under two minutes now to go round one. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Went for the inside leg kick. Great timing on that kick. All right, working inside the close guard now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by George St. Pierre. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by George St. Pierre. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, create this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. in the books. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nermago Medov gets Quick touched by that kick to the body. Entry. Rotates the head outside to a high ground. Oh, oh, Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the right end of that? Not me. Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. St. Pierre's pass attempt denied. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Some serious pressure from the top by St. Pierre. Hammer fist here by George St. Pierre. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. 
he's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Misses with the right hand. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nirmago Medov gets the tight punch here. Quick entry. Great single entry. Multi side punch is taken for a while. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now, DC, trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is when people come through the doors to see. Two men, stand on a corner, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. So he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute 39 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out. So he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champ. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 170 pounds, and he proved that tonight.